An independent data monitoring committee says Regeneron's COVID-19 antibody cocktail is working for patients in clinical trials. We'll stop giving the placebo. Good news in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic, especially for those who enroll in the clinical trial here in Amarillo. KMR Local Force Kaylee Green has more from a researcher on that study. Prior to those findings by the committee, half of the clinical trial patients were given a placebo. Now, none will receive a placebo but the Regencove antibody treatment instead. Now, the, the trial itself will no longer have a placebo arm. Now, one of the questions that we're still trying to answer is what is the best dose of this uh, antibody? And so there are two different doses that are still being tested. But it means that anybody who enrolled in the trial would, would get the antibody. Researchers at Amarillo's Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center have been working with Pharmatech's research on the clinical trial since August. It's currently in phase three. One researcher, a pulmonologist and critical care physician at Texas Tech Physicians, Dr. Mark Sigler, says the antibody has been available to patients meeting specific criteria, but that could change. What it means going forward is that. Um, that Regeneron will likely ap apply to be um, available to a, a wider set of, uh, of, of patients and, um, and that hopefully the antibody will be uh, formula, formally approved by the, by the FDA for more widespread use. Dr. Sigler says the treatment and prevention of coronavirus happen on many different levels. But this step forward is one more reason to be optimistic. I'm hopeful that as we continue to improve our treatments for, for patients that have infections, um, in addition to the success that, that the vaccinations have had, that it will, that it will mean that our patients that, that develop coronavirus infections continue to do better and better overall. Regeneron still has not seen the study's unblinded data. That information and more from treatment doses will be shared in March. The Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center says more than 150 people in our area have participated in the trial, making Amarillo one of the top five participants in the U.S. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Dr. Sigler says because of the success of the Regeneron trial, the National Institutes of Health have reached out to the Texas Tech University Health Science Center about participating in future clinical trials. He says those should begin in the next few months.